everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title, I am going to be teaching you how to do wing liner. I'm going to have a series on my channel called How To, and I'm going to teach you guys how to do your eyebrows, lip liner, liner, whatever you guys want to learn, let me know in the comments below and I will have a how to on how to learn it. I've practiced for many, many years at makeup and how I really learned how to do makeup was through YouTube. I used to stand in the mirror for hours and hours taking my makeup off, putting it back on, just practicing. So I want to help you learn how to do makeup. So if you want to see how to do wing liner, then please keep watching. So the liner that I am using today is the Rimmel London Exaggerate Eyeliner. Um, this is the one that I normally don't go for. As you guys can see, I have two wing liner videos. One from, I think, three years ago and the other from two years ago. Now let me tell you, looking back at them, they're all right. The first one is horrible, but the second one, I would definitely say I like that one a lot. So this is definitely a different liner for me. It has the short felt tip. I will leave the video link down below from two years ago when I used to love using my NYC liquid liner. That one was always my favorite and what I used for years and years and years. But I just picked this one up not too long ago, probably like a month or two because I really need a new liner. So this is the one that I've been using, and I have to say I really do like it, and I've learned a technique that will really help you achieve really good winged liner. So let's open it up and let's get started. I'm gonna be using my Jeffree Star mirror to uh, see, and if, I'm sorry if you hear my dog in the background. She always makes a ton of noise, and I apologize. She's just a noisy chihuahua, but I mean chihuahuas are always noisy, so yeah. So the first thing you're going to want to do that I like to do is I like to take my liner, and I'll do it on the back of my hand even though whatever, and I literally just give it a tap. And as you can see, the, see the straight line? You're going to do that along your whole like rim of your eye. And that's how you're going to get like your base. So all I do is literally just tap it. And you want to make sure the inner corner is definitely a lot thinner. And all I do is tap, tap, tap and make sure I fill in the little gaps and literally you already have a line. For your wing liner you always want to start where your bottom lash line is but kind of right where your eyeshadow um, ends. So all I'm going to do is just draw a line. You're kind of drawing a line out to where your brow is but you don't want to go that far. I mean, I used to, but that's when I was learning how to do makeup. But I'm going to teach you guys all the mistakes not to do that I did when I was learning how to do makeup. And then once you have that, you want to start right in the middle, like right here where I kind of did that little dent. And you want to pull that into your other liner. You're going to want to just fill in that little gap. And then kind of you can now come in, straighten up your line if you want to come in and pull it a little thicker whatever type of liner you're going for just do that and there you go you already have one wing already all done in a matter of like a minute it was super easy and I have to admit when I used to use my NYC liquid liner I did really like it a lot but you had to be more precise with it this one literally like I said dab 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 and you pretty much already got a good line you might just have to go in a little bit just to touch it up but look at my wing liner looks perfect and it's already done in less than a minute so now let's do the other eye as quick as the last one this eye might take me two minutes because it's my left and I have to you know move my arms around but it'll still be quick all I do remember tap 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 thinner in the inner corner and then out here you don't have to be as like precise. Sometimes I don't do all the tapping because like I said, this is my left eye so I have to kind of move my hands over and it makes it a little bit more difficult. I'm a righty so everything on the right side is always a thousand times easier. I already kind of got my base. I'm going to come out once again kind of from the corner of my eye where my eyeshadow ends, drag it out, come in from the middle and really just pull it in. When you pull it in, it gives a really nice, crisp, straight line. But as you can see, this is not perfect. It looks a lot thicker right here than the wing. So I kind of come in and I just kind of straighten that out. I might have to go on to my other eye, even though I like that one better. If one eye is a little bit thicker, you kind of have to go in and fix the other eye, even though the other eye is more your favorite. So all I'm going to do is just come in right here, 
draw it out a little longer. And you guys, that is it. This was the quickest video I think I've ever filmed. And it is so easy. And that's how you do wing liner. Now here's a little tip for you. If you have a mistake, take a concealer brush, a little bit of your foundation or concealer. I like to use foundation because it will match my skin perfectly. Unless I have under eye concealer on, I will use that concealer. Take a little bit on my hand, take my concealer brush, and literally draw a nice thin line underneath my wings. And that will really help to give you a nice, crisp, precise wing liner. I hope that this video is helpful. I'm definitely going to be having more how-to videos for you. How to do eyeshadow, your brows, lip liner, how to contour and highlight. Whatever you're looking for, leave it down below and that will be the next video. Um, and if you want to see a video that someone already commented under, just like their comments so I know and I will make sure I get right to it. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!